Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Bissumtari, your internship guide for the first project. So I hope no intern has any trouble getting into the Discord server. So basically if you have been assigned your intern role, you will basically see all the channels here. This is the general discussion, internship format, internship guidelines, criteria and all. And this is the instruction channel. Okay. So if you come onto the instruction channel, you will see visit materials P1 under category under T0 category to find the instruction set for your first project. Right. <coughs> for any discussion guidance, doubt clearance for project mentor, kindly perform any of the following actions. Okay, so let's visit the materials P1 section and you will come up with the in here you will find the instruction set for the first project right okay <clears throat> so what is the first project so basically ai product and service prototyping for small businesses and this is a solo project so what exactly interns have to do identify small business sectors where ai can be applied and come up with sellable ai product service ideas come up with abstract product framework and model so what here means by the abstract okay so by abstract we mean that you don't need to develop the real world like you don't need to develop the like the whole product or service right you just have to come up with an idea and you have to prepare the abstract the abstract model right okay and prepare a detailed report on how you will implement it okay <coughs> so these are the basically this this 15 touch points right this basically this 15 touch points you have to your report has to contain this 15 touch points okay so like we'll go through one by one like what exactly this 15 touch points mean so first is a uh, pretty clear it's a title of paper along your name okay now comes the problem statement okay so what is the problem statement as in what your ai product and service like your AI, your idea of ai product and service what it's going to solve right so if there is no problem there is no requirement for a solution right so basically problem statement as in what problem is your ai product and service idea going to solve okay as simple as that okay and the second one is market customer business need assessment and if you are going to truly like solve a problem is there a like a business need is there a market need is there a customer need right so is uh, is any like customer is any person is any human being facing that problem or if your idea is solving a business problem like what like what problems are the business facing right and what are the needs and all <coughs> And the third point is basically target specifications and characterizations, right? So target specification and characterization is uh, like, so now you, you solve the product, right? You have a solution, you have an idea, right? The question is like, who exactly are you going to sell? Okay. For example, your, your idea, your idea of AI program service is a, for example, is a music recommendation, like music generation app. Okay. Using AI. So who you who you will sell it to like using you, you will basically sell it to singers musicians right music producers and all okay and the fourth point is external search external search okay and so basically these are the reference links like um, when you are going through your idea your research and all you will come up with some links some reference uh, some papers and all right so basically this uh, like what type of models you are going to use you're going to you're going to use state of the art models or not on like that so any link you come across it will be that you'll be using in the in the report just uh, means link the means reference links here okay <clears throat> so the fifth point is benchmarking alternate products there's it comparison with existing products and services okay so this is this uh, point is basically the comparison okay basically the comparison with existing products and services like for example your ai your idea of an ai pro product and service is let's say an ai based search engine okay so let's say you're computing directly with, with the likes of google and all right so benchmarking as in like like uh, how like how you will build the ai product and service better than google right you have to compare the points and all like what what uh, what will be your like a uh, usp like unique selling points uh, how you will be better than this uh, then this search engine google or then the search engine being like that okay so <clears throat> then comes the sixth point okay the applicable patents okay applicable patents as in licenses okay like less license as in see some some models are open sources and some like models like gpt3 
and all like but they are not open like uh, most like some of the models and frameworks are not open sources right okay so basically here like uh, you have to come you have to uh, include like uh, if suppose you're going to like uh, use something like in your model uh, you're going to use an open source model okay so there will be no patent there will be no license and all okay so it's all right right but suppose your your, more, your AI product and service is going to use, for example, GPT-3, okay? So you have to include the GPT-3 license and all, right? Like if they are going to charge you for that or like uh, you'll be able to use it for free, but be, there has to be some like uh, like royalty paid, royalty to be paid and all like that, okay? So this is the sixth point, right? And then, uh, the, and then there comes the applicable regulations, okay? So like the AI models, like some of the AI models, like uh, for example, for right now, like let's say deep fact technology or computer vision, like computer, mo like uh, computer, like uh, monitoring and all, right? Uh, some of the models are very powerful, like are, are, in, are very powerful as in deep fact technology is, is very harmful, in, in, is in the wrong hands, right? So applicable regulations as in like uh, as the ai community moves forward like uh, the governments and all they will soon pl uh, place some regulations some restrictions on the uses of these models and all right this uh, defect technology the deep uh, means the duplication and all and uh, like so like many of the models are going to be placed regulations so if in your ai program service you're going to see use some idea some like some some models some frameworks which may be restricted by the government so you need to include it in this section okay so <coughs> that's that and and the eighth point is applicable constraints okay so applicable constraint is in like the restri uh, applicable constraints is in like uh, you're going to develop the AI and product and service, right? So against against what constraints? Again, the need for space, need for budget, needs for expertise. Again, what constraints you're going to build the product and service? So, for example, uh, when you're building the product and service, you will there, there, there will be need for servers. There will be need for like uh, programmers, like uh, machine learning experts. There will be uh, there will be need for softwares like that, right? So applicable <coughs> constraints is in like against what like factors uh, you will be building the product and service okay so uh, point nine is business opportunity right so what is business opportunity okay so many of the machine learning projects uh, what happens is like some of the projects and all the project ideas and all they don't really have any business opportunity okay so for example let's say there's a yeah, there's a heart disease prediction app okay you develop the heart disease prediction app so the question is like is there a business opportunity is there a, is there a business opportunity as in like can you sell it to the customers can you sell it to the general public can you sell it to the doctors can you sell it to the hospitals right so what is meant by the business opportunity is like can you sell can you sell that idea can you sell that app like if if you have the full-fledged app developed can you sell it to the means customers businesses like that okay is there a business opportunity so that's need to be covered in this in this uh, point okay business opportunity and these two points the concept generation concept concept development like this is like mm, no big deal like uh, so how you came up with an idea like why do you think it's important like okay so basically this is a brief summary of how you came up with an idea and how you are going to develop it and all okay and then the final the 12th point is very important okay the, fi the final product prototype abstract with schematic diagram okay so basically the schematic diagram as you can okay just come down here and you will find the report link to report framework and sample projects okay if you uh, if you click uh, up here so basically if you click up here you will find it you will come up here okay and then you can just look up let's say you visit the okay ai farm manager okay so what is meant by the schematic diagram is in okay let's suppose you come up okay okay right here right so this basically the yeah this basically the means schematic diagram for the product okay like basically the how your end system your end product system or your end service system will look like okay so we'll this to this this so the whole system you have to draw the whole schematic like system like system for your ai product and service okay and we can see another example here right okay so this ai in filmmaking right okay so we can come up here
right so this is the prototype okay this is the schematic diagram okay so system for your service and product okay clear so in this point on the on the 12th point you have to include the final product prototype with schematic diagram okay and then the product details right how your product will work like what what data sources like how you will collect the from where you will collect the data and all and whatever algorithms frameworks and software will be needed to build the product and let's say the team required to develop the product and what does it cost like basic cost estimation okay like say you need to hire one ml engineer okay and you have to pay him fifty thousand per month so let's say like uh, like not counting the taxes on all you'll have to pay him like six lakhs per year right so that is basically the means the product details and all and then uh, the code implementation and validation on small scale and this is optional okay so for for the first project for the first project AI product and service programming the code implementation is an optional part so even if you cannot build the model even if you cannot perform the ED and all okay it's okay okay so for the first project the main part is the idea and the report right and the 14th point is optional <coughs> code implementation but then if you if you choose to do the core implementation like what what can be included is some basic visualization on real world or augmented data so for example like let's say your ai product and service uses some form of data which is still not collected in the real world right so you can you can work like you can generate you can take some feature points right or at least a feature a feature b feature like column a column a like hypothetical columns and all right and you can take some form of artificial data using like some uh, you can generate some uh, artificial data right like uh, by hypothesizing like like by basically hypothesizing like a uh, basically by guessing right by guessing like what might be the data look like okay and you can perform some basic model building on your artificial data right and then simple modeling you can include ml modeling and all okay and uh, yeah if you perform like uh, uh, like if you choose to do the code implementation you have to include the github link okay github link you, uh, you have to upload on github you have to link the github link on your report okay and then the finally conclusion right and here you can find a link to report framework and sample projects and all and this basically description basically okay description is basically what i just explained okay uh, you can cover industries like tourism agriculture education supply chain medical etc right okay so important note important note okay the compulsory part of the project one is only the abstract prototype report that is you don't need to build the product and service you just need to take an idea and prepare a detailed report on it for a bonus grade, you can implement simple ADA visualization right GitHub link. Okay, so uh, you can you will find the deadlines, extend deadlines, grade assign. Okay, for the main report, the grade assign is five percent, like five out of hundred, and this will be the bonus grade and this panel penalty missing. And for any doubt and all, you can perform any of the action. Okay, so I hope like uh, that is clear for the first project. Like what you you are clear on what you have to do. If like for any if you have any doubt, just reach out to us. Okay. Okay then, thank you.